Welcome to the first tutorial on ExpressSCH. To start ExpressSCH, uh, you double click this icon here on the screen, and uh, pretty soon we'll have another window which uh, is ExpressSCH. Uh, we're going to click OK here, and then we will maximize uh, the window so we have uh, the whole screen in front of us. In the middle of the screen, you have your page. See the four um, spots right here indicate the four corners of our page. And we can actually increase the size of this page by clicking on the magnification button here or the reduction here. Okay. And um, at any point, if you would like to go back to the normal magnification, you press this button right here, it takes you to the best uh, magnification for the specific screen that you have. So in this uh, video, uh, we're going to talk about the uh, different menus. As you can see up on the top, the top bar is uh, a Windows bar, which uh, displays the program that we're using and right here, the title of the uh, file that we have open. So right now, as you can see, the program is ExpressSCH, and this page has not been given a title yet, so it is listed as untitled. The second bar is the menu bar. We have the File, Edit, View, Sheet, Component, and Help menus. And each of these menus, if you left-click, uh, bring down the different options that we have in each different menu. And we'll go through the through each menu uh, one at a time. So, so the second bar is the menu bar. Then the third bar uh, has uh, very useful uh, commands which are uh, uh, handy and very commonly used in this program. So to quickly quickly access them, they created these little uh, buttons with icons uh, for our convenience. So this one here is the open file uh, command. This is the save file command. This is the undo command. This is the zoom in command, zoom out command, and so forth. So you can go through each one of those uh, buttons, hover your mouse over it, and then the little descriptive rectangle underneath will um, display what the uh, command does. On the left hand side, we have another set of common commands that uh, ExpressSCH is using, and uh, we can access them by quickly uh, left-clicking. For example, this command here is the selection command, is the selection arrow. The second one here is uh, zoom into the selected area, this third one is place a component and so forth. So to start the program, um, to start the, the first schematic, we need to create, we need to call some parts and place them here in in our work area. So the quickest way to do that is to click on this component and simple simple manager button, which will open up this window, and then. Uh, until you get familiar with the components which are available, we can click the Find uh, command, and then here it allows us to search the database. So let's say I'm looking for a resistor. Now type in resistor, Find, Find first. It will scan through uh, the library from the beginning to the end, and whenever it finds the word resistor, in the component name, it will stop. So that's the first instance it found the word resistor, and that's what I want. I'm going to place this into my schematic. So here's my resistor. So if I want to place another resistor in my file, uh, I can go to place, and comes up to the last component, and I'm going to insert the second resistor. So it actually placed the second resistor on top of the first one. So I pulled the two apart. 
then let's go and place a battery find battery okay here's our first battery insert into the schematic I'm gonna place it right here and uh, so it's now, now time to connect them to connect them together with wires you go here to place a wire this is a place a wire tool left click notice now my, that my mouse has changed to these crosshairs and I'm gonna um, start from here click on the top side of the battery and then start placing a wire okay and now I can go from here to the top of the resistor but my wire will be will be in a kind of slanted angle so to make the nice, schematic nice and professional use orthogonal lines lines which are uh, vertical or horizontal so here I come up to this point a vertical line I le left click and then I continue in a horizontal direction close to the resistor left click again go to the resistor left click again now to stop the place wire command I right click and it start placing the wire now I can zoom in to see better what I have done I can use the this plus to zoom in okay or I can use uh, the command zoom in right here either way so now I can uh, see better I can see better what I'm doing and I'll go back to my place wire command it's still the place wire command in effect I will connect the two resistors top to the bottom left click and then now to stop the drawing the wire I right click and then I move again down to zoom in again okay now I'm gonna start my wiring from here come down to this point turn to the left and then finish so this is my first schematic I'm gonna zoom out and there it is in in the context of the page it's a little tiny schematic uh, diagram in the middle of this page so I'm gonna save this file save as and I'm gonna call it uh, I'm gonna create a new folder into my documents I'm gonna call it um, Express SCH projects, and then I'm going to call this series resistors and the program will attach the .sch extension to that and as soon as I do that notice up on the top my my menu bar um, has the right file name it also has the path okay this file is on the C drive and this is the path of the different directories and eventually where my file is located okay to exit go to file and exit and that's it so that's the first introduction to express a ch